Piggy Pie by Marjorie Palladini. Gritch the witch woke up grouchy, grumpy, and very hungry. Her belly grumbled for something delicious, something delightful, something special. But what? It wasn't purple mouse tail stew. No, she ate that yesterday for lunch. Maybe some mashed dragon tongue pudding? No, Gritch wasn't in the mood for anything quite that sweet. Perhaps a taste of boiled black buzzard feet? That always made her mouth water. No, not today. Today, Gritch wanted something truly tasty. Something really yummy. Something special. And that could only mean piggy pie. Yes, yes, piggy pie. I can taste those plump, juicy pink piggies right now, Gritch said, smacking her lips. She hurried to the pantry and pulled down her old hag cookbook from the top shelf. She picked off a spider, blew off the dust, and turned to the secret recipe on page 342. Gritch ran her bony finger with a long green nail down the list of ingredients. One eye of a fly? She checked the pantry shelves. No problem, said Gritch. Two shakes of a rattlesnake's rattle? No problem, said Gritch. Three belly hairs of a possum? No problem, said Gritch. Eight plump piggies. Problem, screeched Gritch. I don't have any piggies. How can I make piggy pie without even one puny pink pig? Gritch pulled her hair and she stomped her feet. She paced the floor. She wanted piggy pie. She wanted piggy pie very much. Hmm, she said, tapping the lucky wart on her chin. Now where could I find eight plump piggies? Gritch thought and thought and thought. Aha! She shouted with a jump. The circus! Yes, yes, the circus! The circus? No, no, not the circus. You don't find pigs in the circus. She thought harder. Aha! She shouted with a jump. The zoo! Yes, yes, the zoo! The zoo? No, no, not the zoo. You don't find pigs in the zoo. She thought much harder. The farm. Yes, yes, the farm. You find pigs on a farm. There still was what just one teeny tiny little problem. Where to find a farm? Where else? Gritch let her bony fingers do the walking and opened the yellow pages to F, where she found a very large ad. This was it. Old McDonald's farm, call E-I-E-I-O, just over the river and through the woods. We have ducks, chickens, and piggies. Gritch put her broomstick in gear and headed over the river and through the woods to Old McDonald's farm. I've got you in my sights, you little porkers, she cackled as she circled overhead. Surrender, piggies. Gritch zoomed in for a thump, thump, perch, landing. She spit straw, fanned her still smoking tootsies, and lifted her goggles. There wasn't a pig in sight. Where'd they all go? Gritch shouted to a duck. Hey, duck, I said, where are all the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The duck quack quacked here, it quack quacked there, here it quacked, there it quacked, everywhere it quack quacked. No piggies. What do you mean no piggies, you dizzy duck? Greech scritched into his bill. I just saw a passel of piggies down here not a minute ago. Hand over those hogs, you little quacker. No piggies, quacked the duck. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the duck with one of her most evil spells. The duck was not impressed. 
It wasn't even scared. It gave Gritch another quack and waddled away. So, who needs a dumb duck? Gritch mumbled. Being careful where she stepped, Gritch wandered across the meadow. Yoo-hoo! She shouted. Moo! You! Said Gritch to the cow. Where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The cow moo-mooed here. It moo-mooed there. Here it mooed. There it mooed. Everywhere it moo-mooed. No piggies. What do you mean, no piggies, you lumpy-looking cow? Screamed Gritch. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Fork over the pork, you walking milk machine, or I'll curdle your cream. No piggies, mooed the cow. Gritch pulled her hair and stomped her feet. She even threatened the cow with one of her most evil spells. The cow stared at Gritch, swatted a fly with its tail, and lumbered away. Cows, who needs them? Gritch muttered. So she tried the barnyard where she stopped a chicken in its tracks. Okay, bird brain, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The chicken cluck clucked here, it cluck clucked there, here it clucked, there it clucked, everywhere it cluck clucked. No piggies. What do you mean, no piggies, you feathered drumstick? Gritch screeched. What's going on here? Where's the boss of this heap of hay? The chicken flapped his wing toward old MacDonald. Gritch looked him over once, twice. You're old MacDonald, she said. Don't look much like your picture, do you? The farmer thumbed his suspenders and shrugged. Look, Shorty, I've been quack quacked here and moo mooed there and cluck clucked everywhere all over this farm. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Where are those piggies? The farmer looked here. He looked there. Here he looked. There he looked. Everywhere he looked, looked. No piggies. What do you mean no piggies, you flea bitten seed spreader? You must have piggies. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened him with one of her most evil spells. No piggies. Her stomach growled. It grumbled, but there were no piggies. There would be no piggy pie. Now what was she going to eat? Psst, psst, psst. Excuse me, little lady. Woof's the name. Let me give you some advice. Forget about those pigs. Forget about the pigs, said Gritch, eyeing the wolf. He nodded. They're too tricky. Trust me, I've been chasing three pigs for days. He huffed and puffed. I'm starving. Look at me. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Gritch pinched his arm. Well, not quite, she grinned. Mr. Wolf, I have the most wonderful idea. I was thinking, since you haven't eaten and I haven't eaten, why don't you come home with me for lunch? I'm a very good cook. Why, that sounds tempting, the wolf said as he looked at Gritch and smacked his lips. Are you sure it won't be a problem? Problem? Gritch grinned. No problem at all she said as they walked off arm in arm. I always enjoy having a wolf for lunch. <laughs> <laughs>